Okay, we're at um, the Sunday of the dinghy show. I'm Alex um, from RS Sailing. I'm here with Rupert Jameson, uh, the FIVA European Champion. And uh, part of his success was sailing the Terra before he moved up into the FIVA. And today what I would like to kind of do is go through the Terra Mark II and go through all the changes that we've got actually on the boats. So Rupert, what do you think about the boat? It looks stunning. It's it's just amazing. It's so cool to see the boat developing as the boat gets older. New people go through the boat and it's just so cool to see. Well look, I think um, the great thing about the Terror is that we've kept the identity and I think every time we've uh, one design boats do always have to evolve in a slight way so when we do evolve them we need to make sure that we keep the identity um, and the DNA of the class and that's really important to make making sure when we do those changes everyone still thinks it's a terror. Um, so the things that we've done um, on, on the terror to go and do that. A, from a tooling point of view, it, like it's a lot more sh shinier, um, so, and that's something that we wanted to improve, was the finish. Um, the other things we wanted to add and do was, um, we put in grab rails down here, and uh, I don't know, because I think you, you've been out in this boat before, actually. Yes, I, um, I did the testing, and I found the grab rails were very, very useful. Uh, yeah, um, well, I think things Things like that are really interesting now and we've done this on a, a couple of boats so it just makes it easier to get in the boat from a capsize. Um, and then what we've also done is we've increased, um, we've made a, a, a pot in the, tr in the transom to strengthen up the back of the boat and also be able to get um, to the nuts and bolts at the back and it's, it's again something that we've learned over the other boats that we've done and it really gives a max amount of material round the back here. Going forward um, we've repositioned the hatch um, in the boat so um, it won't leak, uh, which, which is one of the areas that we had some issues with the Mark 1 boat. Um, but I guess the biggest change is we have had some, some problems in the past as the boat has evolved and um, from the pro rig to the sport rig where people were putting on more vang and, and, and there's no, no doubt on that that I'm sure when you were sailing them you used to really put on the vang and the mast pots we had some issues with and, and I'm quite happy to admit that. So what we've done here is we, we kind of made sure that we engineered the new tooling to make sure that the mast pot was very much part of the construction of the boat and what we've done here the mast pot goes right through the boat and as it's made it's got extra more material around um, and, and underneath it there's a metal mast cup so what we can do is transfer all the loads of the mast and the van as it gets used throughout the entire boat and not just um, not just the mast pot. So when you went sailing it, you felt it must have been the same, because I think that's important? It, it felt very much the same. The only thing that I felt was different was when I capsized it, because that unfortunately happened. I could pull myself in a lot easier, and it just, it felt the same as a normal Terra, it just looks nicer. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that's really important for people to understand what, what we did to cut to create this is we uh, 3D scanned the tooling, the original tooling, to ensure that the hull profile um, was exactly just the same because that has to happen. It's a one design boat. What we don't want is the, the new boats to be perceived to be quicker um, because actually from a hull from a hull point of view they are exactly the same. On the deck we very just slightly changed a couple of lines and some areas is just to make it kind of iron out the issues and make the ownership for the customer just so much better. So I'm really glad that you, you had a, a, a good time say and I will also have to say thanks for your your testing the boat because we went out for low, I mean must be about four weekends yeah. going through this boat with yeah, all definitely. kind of wind, wind, condi wind conditions. Yeah. So thanks Rupert, really appreciate that. Thank you for letting me test it, it was a no really cool experience.